Question 1. Two isotopes of iodine are 12553 iodine and 13153 iodine. We need to determine for these two isotopes the difference between the constituents of the nuclei. So for the first one here, this is number of protons plus neutrons, and that's number of protons plus neutrons, and the number of protons, and that's the number of protons. So they both have the same proton number, which is that one, but it was different is the neutron number. So what we need to do is to say, right, so for the first one, I have got 72 neutrons and 53 protons, and obviously I've got the I, and I've got the 53. So that is the first one. And the second one, I've got 53 protons plus 78, plus 78 neutrons. So that's the second one there. So the difference between the two of them is six neutrons. So both the 78 minus 72 would be six. So six neutrons. That's the difference. Question 1.2. Isotope of iodine 131 undergoes beta minus decay. And this is the um, equation for it. And if, as you can see, the question is asking us to state the nuclear number of xenon nucleide. Well, the xenon nucleide form, the nuclear number is 131. If you look in the periodic, periodic table, it's also 131. So it's 131. Question 1.3. A iodine-12553 isotope uh, nucleide decays uh, by electron captures to form a tellurium nucleide. State two differences between the constituents of the iodine nucleus and the tellurium uh, nucleus it decays into. Well, you can see electron capture, that means it's capturing the electron from the inside the atom. So that's what it is. And then that, when you balance this equation, mass is roughly zero. So that would be one, two, five. And then trans minus one, you're going to get minus 52 tellurium uh, plus electron neutrino. So this is the equation for electron capture here. This one would be the iodine here. So that's the iodine there. So one of its proton capturing the electron to form in the, this one would be the neutrons increase. So what we have is an increase in neutron from the iodine by one. So, and the decrease in proton because proton has been pro, um, turned into neutron. So you can get proton going from 53 to 52 because one of the proton is turned into neutron and the neutron has increased from 72 to 73 and that's te tellurium and if you look here for iodine this is iodine here next to it is tellurium so these are the two answers you're looking for and iodine the proton decreases by 1 to 52 and the neutron increases by 1 to 73 forming tellurium. Question 1.4. The internal conversion is a process in which a nucleus in an excited state can release its excess energy. In internal conversion, all of the excess energy is transferred from the nucleus to an orbital electron through an electromagnetic force. The orbital electron is ejected from the atom. The tellurium nucleus formed in question 1.3 is in an excited state and can undergo internal conversion. Discuss three differences between internal conversion and beta minus decay. So the differences between them is any of these four ones. So you need any of the three to answer the question internal conversion only electron is released beta decay electron and anti neutrino released two internal conversion all electrons released will have 
discretized energy, uh, quantum energy levels, beta decay, all electrons will have a range of energies. And four, internal conversion mediated by electromagnetic force, which is virtual photons, beta decay mediated by weak interaction W minus bosons, any three answers will do.